Nice to see you. Nice to see you. see you again. Personal financial advisors are not just for the wealthy. Every working person can benefit from objective help with cash flow, savings, tax strategies, insurance coverage, investing for children's education, and retirement planning. A lot of people think financial planning is all about investments. That's one component, but that's certainly not the entire package. This is a profession for people with good communication skills, combined with an understanding of how business works. You could work for an insurance company, a bank, a brokerage firm, or have your own business. But it is vital to understand the products you are guiding people to purchase. Your earnings could come from a commission on sales, salary, or fees paid by clients, or a combination of these sources. Business schools and college courses could get you started, or you can join a firm that offers training. You may then need to study for and pass specific licensing exams to sell insurance, mutual funds, stocks and bonds. Some of those licenses are administered by federal agencies, some by the state where you do business. So you should have a good idea of where you'd like to settle before getting the process rolling. Financial advisors need to update themselves constantly on new services and tax laws that might be good for their clients. Well, what would selling the house, how would that change our financial situation? The tax laws are set up in such a way that if you sell this house, you will pay no capital gain tax. So this is a field that requires a lifetime of continuing education. A trusted financial advisor can play an important role in people's lives, helping them to make the most of their earnings and achieve dreams such as owning a home, seeing their children through college, and enjoying an active retirement. Nice to meet you. I'll walk you right out. Okay.